Hello! So in today's video I thought we would take a look at my Dior Tribal Earrings. This is pretty much a staple for Dior. They keep bringing out new editions of it um, all the time. So I'm going to show you the ones that I have and then we'll do a little bit of a run through of the ones that are currently available. We'll do a bit of a review. I have worn them on a number of occasions so I will tell you what I think of them comfort wise. Um, whether they tarnish they are an imitation pearl they're not a real pearl so I'll give you a bit of an update on wear and tear and then what else and I'll show you them on so the tribal earrings that I have I actually picked up from David Jones it did used to have a Dior boutique inside of our um, local David Jones but it doesn't anymore so now they have a standalone Dior boutique so I was lucky to pick this up from David Jones um, before they closed that and opened the new boutique. I remember paying about 550 Australian dollars for these particular earrings and now I did notice on the Dior website that they have increased pretty considerably and they sort of range from 700 Australian to like 950 Australian. So there has been quite a big price increase um, in recent years in these earrings. I purchased them a couple of years ago. It was my first pair of Dior um, fashion jewelry. So I have worn them a number of times. So this is how they come. The box is really pretty. Very like marbly. Inside the box you get the nice tissue paper, the Dior sticker. And then the little Dior pouch. Inside this little pouch is the earrings. So it's a nice sort of grey velvet pouch, grey velvet back and front, says Dior. And then inside, it's more of like, I don't even know what you would call this material. Kind of like a tool, I guess. And then it has two compartments to put the earrings. So these are the particular ones that I got. One of them says CD on top. The other one has a star. And then they say Jador. And then a star. And then Jador again. Then another star. So same on this side, Shador, star, Shador, star. They are in an antique gold. Let me zoom in on it. I'll see if I can give you guys a clearer. Shador, star, Shador, star. The bottom has a star and the top has a star. Now the other pair, you can just see the only difference is the CD on the top for Christian Dior. Now when we take this out, you can see here it says Dior. So these earrings are purely fashion jewellery. They are imitation pearl. They aren't a real pearl. It is not um, real gold on them either. So this has a couple of indents and then you can see that antique gold there. As you can see, it is a pretty hard pull-off. So it's really super secure. They don't ever feel like they're going to fall off. It's very tight. So 
I've just taken out the earrings that I did have in my first hole so that I can show you what these look like. They're super, super easy to put on. So this is how they look. Just kind of get that earring out of the way. You would think being like a smaller ball on top and a larger ball on the bottom that this would feel really heavy and kind of annoying and kind of make your ear feel like it's like sitting in the wrong place, but it absolutely doesn't. They're super, super, super duper comfy and really, really lightweight as well. Like you literally can't even feel them. So let's just give you some closer look. And I'll show you guys from the back. I feel like these earrings from Dior are so easily recognizable. I feel like as soon as you see them, you know that they're Dior. They're part of their classic collection. So whether, say, you have your hair up or down, they really are a beautiful statement. And they're really comfy, honestly. Like, you literally can't even feel that they're in there. And then to take out... Super grippy. Another thing that I have found that I don't know if anyone's actually tried this is if you have some spare earring backs, they actually fit onto this piece and you could wear this just as a single tiny pearl for during the day and you wouldn't even be able to tell that that's not how it was supposed to be worn. So that's another little tip. Yeah, I absolutely love them. I'm definitely not um, a fashion jewellery person, but I really, really love these. And I don't see myself ever selling them. I feel like they'll be in my collection forever. And I probably, maybe one day, might even buy a different pair. I liked this one because of the antique gold. Um, I didn't want to have to worry about gold scratching or... Um, I feel like when it's already antique, I mean, it already looks old. So scratching and... Um, and time and wear and tear and things don't really show up on antique gold. So that's why I really liked those. Now I've had these um, earrings for a couple of years now. And just recently I have noticed a tiny bit of tarnishing on them. Um, I do believe this would be pretty easy to remove. I don't really think it's a big deal. But I just wanted to mention that so that you do know that they can tarnish because they are a fashion jewelry. So I'll zoom in and show you guys what I mean. I hope that you can see, but in here, there is some very slight, like almost green sort of looking tarnishing. I haven't noticed tarnishing anywhere else on the earring apart from just inside this little gap. And it seems to only be on this one pair as well. It just looks kind of like bluey green in there. I do believe it probably would be pretty easy to remove. And then when we take a look at the other pair, the other one doesn't have it. So maybe there is a little bit more of a gap on this earring to allow a bit of tarnishing, but I'm not sure. Would I recommend these earrings? Yes, 100%. They're timeless. They're a classic staple in um, Dior's fashion jewellery collection. They're very easily recognisable that they are Dior. They're really lightweight. They're really comfy. You can't really even feel that they're in there. I feel like maybe, I mean, you wouldn't sleep in them, but say, for instance, like you came home from a big night out, whatever, you can just leave them in. But, um, yeah, they're really comfy, and I really, really like them, and I definitely rate them. So if these are on your wish list or on your radar and you're sort of on the fence, I say go for it. I really, really like them. Now, the next thing we're going to take a look at is all the different varieties available. So I will swap over to my phone and give you a bit of a run through of um, current season tribal earrings from Dior 
and the different prices so I will be on the US website for all of my um, US viewers out there. Obviously Australian prices and international prices vary so just um, check them out on your local country's website. Okay so I've just brought you guys over to Dior's website and then I have just put in the search bar above tribal earrings so this is all the different ones that have come up the current ones um, current collection and what's available in the boutique so as you can see it comes in a number of different um, colors configurations uh, some are heavily embellished some are embellished with crystals some are embellished with um, tiny imitation pearls so there's heaps and heaps of different variety when you're looking at the tribal earrings some have shiny gold hardware and some have more of an antique gold finish, which is what um, my ones have. So heaps of different variety. Also some solid gold ones, or well, they wouldn't be solid gold, but um, full gold and not imitation pearls. Ooh, some ruthenium finish gunmetal coloured ones really like the pink transparent pink resin that is nice you can get them in just very plain Ooh, blue transparent resin iridescent I feel like that would be pretty bright and full on in your ear Some that look like they've even got maybe like painting or something on them. So that's all. That's all that's available. Quite a few of them have um, like a different stud piece like mine does. Mine has a CD on one side and a star on the other. This one has an imitation pearl on one side and a diamante on the other. Just to sort of spice things up a bit. These particular ones retail for $700. Let's go back. Let's check these ones out. See if it is painted on or. Yeah, it must be. Hmm. Don't really think that's my thing. I like these ones with the dangly bits, but I don't know if that would be a bit annoying because I never tried any on with that. Um, I do definitely like these resin ones. They look cool. Not really a fan of ruthenium, but if that is um, something you're into, those ones are pretty cool. The only thing with all the tiny diamantes, which is what I considered when I was buying my ones, was that sometimes the diamantes can fall out and then what do you do? It's not like you could send them back for repair um, because they're fashion jewelry. And I kind of think the same thing about Chanel um, fashion jewellery as well. That they have been known to lose crystals and then you're kind of stuck with this piece of jewellery and the crystals have fallen out and then what do you do? So that's sort of why I went for um, just plain like antique gold on my ones. I didn't want anything with crystals purely for that reason. I like the look of these ones. Let's go in and check these ones out. And then I really like those pink ones. These look cool. So obviously the CD would be on the front of your ear and then um, the imitation pearls would hang um, below your earlobe. So that would look really cool. Those ones retail for $7.50. I really like the look of this pink resin. They're very similar to the ones that I have, except for one um, of the front pieces has a diamante and it's got a little B as well. So that is what's available currently. They're always bringing out new styles. Let's take a look at these ones. Every time they bring out a new collection, I feel like they bring out more fashion jewelry. So if you don't like any of the ones that are available now, just hold on a bit and I'm sure they'll bring out some more. Those are pretty. 
Does anyone watching this actually have any of these tribal earrings with like the dangly bit? Because I'm really interested to know if that is a bit annoying or if it is fine. Please leave me a comment and let me know. Hmm. Just don't know. Don't know about that. I feel like there's quite a lot going on on that earring. So yeah, there you go. Have a look on your local country's um, website and see what they have available. Also, what's available on the website isn't necessarily available in the boutique. Check out your local boutique to see what um, they have available. Let's have a look at these ones. Black crystals and black pearl. I'm interested to see what this looks like on. Wow, there's a lot going on. I don't think I can make it any bigger. But that's a lot going on with that earring. Iridescent. This obviously wouldn't suit everyone. There's no picture of it um, being worn. Oh, eyeshadow. I don't know why that came up in my search. But that's what's currently available um, on the US website at the moment. I hope you enjoyed that little short um, mini unboxing review of my Dior tribal earrings. Yes, I definitely recommend them. I really like them. They're really comfy and they're really super cute. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below if you are not already subscribed to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video, which is every single week. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. See ya.